Hey guys! Hi. Hey guys, we are back today and today we're going to do a bit of a story time about some week experiences. See what I did? Week experience. <laughs> but yeah, stay tuned! If you guys didn't know, we about that week life. Yes! 24-7. Mm -hmm. you know, so I wish we tell you some stories that we, some experiences we had. Um, the most recent one that happened to us is what I'm going to start with. It's not as juicy as what's about to come after <laughs> me. We were just living in our humble abode. <laughs> that is in our okay. business. <laughs> now you have to set the context. What type of period were we living in? What okay. Period. Period. We have an exam period like every three months. So it was at the end or the middle of an, an exam period. So obviously we've been revising. Okay. So the house is not really going to be the great condition. Anybody who goes to like university, you know, you know how sometimes it gets a bit rough. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes it just gets a bit rough because all you really want to do is okay. brush your teeth as quickly as possible, eat as quickly as possible and get in your books. You have Sometimes it just gets a bit rough because all you really want to do is brush your teeth as quickly as possible, eat as quickly as possible and get in your books. You have no time to do anything else. What? So you mean you don't bat? Dirty girl. Anyway, sir. So we hear a knock on the door, and you know we're like, who there? Because we don't, we don't get <laughs> visitors like this. Okay, so I answer the door now. I'm thinking, okay, who's this? And then I open the door, and he's like, oh hi, yeah, it's X from the estate agents. And I said, well, yeah, hello, you're right there. And he's just like, I'm here for a viewing. I said, what do you mean, what viewing? I sent me an email. Keep in mind, this guy has attitude. And keep in mind also, people in the house wigless, could yeah. be pantless, could be braless. And this guy <laughs> giving me actually at the door of my crib that I parent for. Hey, but like, we haven't received the email from you or anything like that, so. Obviously, they come inside the house. The house is a tip. Like, I'm just in the kitchen washing plates. I'm happy I'm washing plates because it makes it look like I was about to start cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> One guy comes out the room and I just look at him like a friendly sort of. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and when I look back at it, that guy didn't smile. That guy always had like a disgust. <laughs> so <I> look, <laughs> they all came in now. They started going to the um, toilet. And obviously, five minutes ago, I just uh, how can I say dropped this? a brick. You know, that's <laughs> that's what you did. But I want to say that. Like, I want to do that. Anyway, I let one lose, girl. Please, that's what you got. Cleared my bowels. Bro, that even <laughs> sounds so fresh. Yeah, I want to go and clear my bowels. So I'm thinking, obviously that was five minutes ago, my, my, uh, my poo, yeah, my, when I go to the toilet and do a poo, <laughs> it's, so, it's ridiculous, uh, what do you call it, it doesn't really smell, it doesn't smell, so I'm yeah, like, right, 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 so then we're going to go to the toilet, I was thinking, well this is really embarrassing, so I have to escape. So I escaped, and then I came out to actually look at the state of the house. So I remember there's a wig right there on, on the chair. Go into the living room now, there is um, a washing rail with every single one every of those underwear. Every pint I own, and <laughs> I, <have a> washing <laughs> rail. I just washed my like two units that I have, two and units, I put them okay. on the radiator two. to dry. Mm. When you enter the bathroom, this one was even beyond me, I saw a pot. With a wig inside of the pot, and I really thought, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Then on the window, so again in a white bowl, there's another wig. Cool. You go upstairs to Zoe's room, there's a wig head. Wig head with pins inside, looking like some kind of voodoo doll. Look, I've taken out my camera, so my hair is just spiking. <laughs> I'm just looking dry, everything dry. Eyebrows haven't been done. I'm just looking dead out. And then I've come out and Zoe's saying, the, the, the estate agent's here with some people to do a viewing. I said, viewing? And I, I turned around and I looked at my room and I thought, nah. Quickly went to my door, I locked the door. You people are not coming in. And my identity was sealed. <laughs> See you. Anyway, let's go to the next story. Who wants to go first? Well, we experience. We experience. Okay, so <laughs> in August, me and my family, we went to Greece, we went to Kavos. No, no, no. Is this a rave? That we, 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 found a rave. we went to we went to Rhodes. And one of the days me and my sister decided we wanted to go and do water sports. So I had one slanging like red wig, hopefully units I would say let's be more classy. <laughs> yeah. This was some expensive heart. Yes, what was it? Russian. Yeah, yeah it was Russian. Because I was thinking I'm gonna do like some type of like bay watch bay. So I had braided it into like some like two cameras. Yes, yeah, so I went down the media box of braids. Oh, yeah. Wow. And then like <laughs> I don't know if some of you actually wear units, but you know when you're an experienced unit wearer, you don't sew these things down because mm -hmm. there's no need when there's you're no when need. you're a little novice. Yes. <laughs> you'll be sewing these things down just because your heart isn't at rest. So 
So I had not sewed this thing down and I knew I was going to a water sports environment. So it didn't cross my mind that firstly this is a dangerous, dangerous game you're playing. We get there now, we are doing various, various water sports. Where, you know, it was, it was light work because the ride wasn't even that scary. Cool. <laughs> and then I, I think we went on something called flying fish. Now, flying really fish. Sounding dangerous. I... So flying fish is like you lay down, and the thing that the, the boat will be pulling you, and then you just be literally kind of like flying in the air. So you're vertical. Cool. So at this point, the wind is even like kind of sliding between my scalp and my wings. So it's starting to do some quite turbulent movement here, and I'm thinking, Kai, this. The hair is very expensive, so I took the pigtails and I just clamped it in my mouth. Um, um, this wig is not going anywhere. That's really good, though. Yes, that's actually your job. <laughs> clamped it in my mouth. My sister is on the other thing, singing Ghanaian gospel. Like, just praying to God, please, God, don't let this thing go. Don't let this thing go. And I'm saying that to myself, God, if somebody has to go, it's going to be me. This wig, save the wig. <laughs> save the wig. Cool. So I get back to land. I don't know. My sister turned out that you an animal. What the hell? I didn't, it didn't cross my mind that Beverly, this was a, a, a what's it, a near miss. A yeah, it was, it was, a, it was like a, a novice mirror. This was a schoolboy oh, error. Lack of self evaluation. Lack of self evaluation. This week could have been gone at sea. <laughs> See, this is not South End Margate. It's not familiar surroundings. I'm on the other side of the globe. Okay. Go back. Other side of the globe. <laughs> <laughs> so simple Greece. <laughs> so then there's a banana ride. Now, in your mind, you might be thinking, banana, like, you should have known. So, me and my sister, we're getting on the banana right now, with people, whatever, and the guy's moving a bit slow, and we're saying, no, hey, boys, man, faster, faster! To go faster, go faster, I'm thinking, ah, oh, this is crap. So, we're getting closer to shore, about, I don't know, the distance scene. And then this guy does one sharp manoeuvre. He just fumes the thing, and we, oh my gosh, guys, my... As in, all I saw was a blur. <laughs> like, and the next thing I know, I'm, I'm, under, I'm underwater. And all of a sudden, now panic has begun to rise. And I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna drown, I'm gonna drown. Now I've come up. And then, I was, I just feel, um, <laughs> what's I, going on? I, <laughs> and things are, feeling, things are feeling a bit light. I just kind of just skimmed my head. Where's the wig? <laughs> where, where is, because what do I call her? Roxanne, where's Roxy? <laughs> Roxy, where, where are you? I'm skimming the water. I can see Roxy in the distance. Guys, the thunder, like, you know, just, <laughs> I just, the strides. The way I just, and I grabbed that wig with my fingertip and I dragged it back. And it's like the weight of the wig, mm -hmm. the weight, because it had every fiber of that hair, like, was just filled with water. Mm -hmm. And I just slapped it on my head. It just looked like a hamster. Because <laughs> 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 <Just like, laughs> <laughs> these people have seen one babe on the beach with some red hair. This, yeah, guys, when I tell us look like a bit, it's a nice body, everything. <laughs> and then you've got out the water and come up looking like Bookie. <laughs> <laughs> you only Bookie. <laughs> Jumbo breaks, that's how I always do it, and I don't relax my hair very often. So, the regrowth, the edges, everything was shambolic. It's like, who are you? Yeah. Come like, like a water spirit, like a, <laughs> come on, like a different human being. <laughs> so, like Jasmine, yeah, my sister says, Jasmine, like she she cannot now, she really, really cannot swim. And Jasmine's screaming, Beverly, Beverly, what happened? Oh, God, God. I'm, I'm just trying to stabilize, like survival things. I'm trying to think, how am I gonna do this? This hamster, I need to save the wig. I need to get to shore. And it's just like, she's just screaming, screaming, trying to hold on to me. I'm just trying to get off me, like, bro, if it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Like, she's trying to take me to where she's going. No, bro, I can't save you. God wants to take you. I mean, what can I do? Anyway, we got to land now. I, like, fume, fume, fume to the bathroom, and then, I tried to secure the wig back on and then it was just looking absolutely crazy so that there's no way this can happen so I kind of like like wrapped it like in one big ball and then we had and, and I went back to the little heart where everybody was at and I just kind of like slipped it into my bag and pretended as if the, the wig didn't exist in the beginning no and shit. I just did and then like just did the rest of the rides with just my two doo-doo plaits and I was thinking what like 
moral of the story, sew your hair down and just don't take the wig with you. Yeah, while we're carrying that moral, let me carry that moral into my story and I learned the hard way. Okay, so it was a cold night. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really, really cold night. Like, you know, um, talking to someone, so we're just chilling as you do, you know. Yeah, so, you know, boys always trying to make you seem like you're weak. Obviously, I'm not a weak kind of girl out here, so I said, I want to kick you onto the floor, innit? And he's like, oh, yeah, try, try, whatever. So I kicked him onto the floor, like, and I did it when he wasn't expecting it as well. So this guy flew, boom, middle, middle of the end, and just landed on the ground, demoralized. So I'm just there, smug, smug, thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got away with this. I didn't get away with this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the repercussions of my actions would be greater than I could bear. <laughs> okay, so, I'm just chilling again, minding business, we are watching TV. Before I know it, so, I can't, sorry. <laughs> no, this is just traumatizing. Like, no, you don't know, you don't know terror. You don't know fear. You don't know pain. Just uh, betrayal. Betrayal. <laughs> what betrayed me? <sighs> I can't believe we're really this in the public. So, just lie down, down, and then this guy kicked me, and I flew. And so, as you would do, like a nice person, you try to reach out and grab the person. I was wearing a hoodie. So he thought he grabbed my hood. The guy didn't know he had just snatched off my wigs. Oh As my god, snatched clean off my my wig was off in this guy's hand. Mama, no and guy. I literally I didn't even care for my face. I literally fell to the ground and I just clasped my head like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was shouting, he's just moving, he's just moving, he's just moving. And he's like, what? He didn't realize that my head wasn't even attached to the wig. Because it, he was like holding like my hood and my hair like so, so it was like I was hanging on the floor like and I was just like in the on the floor like in a ball like shaking like oh my god you got my wig you got my wig turn around turn around So this is like the side of the room. I reached my hand and I like slashed the wig, yeah? And I just threw it on top of my head. So he looked down like, like, are you right? Like, what are you talking about? Like, the wig is on top of No! Don't you! Turn around! Turn around! Turn around! And I was like, I was lying on the floor, like, rocking back and forth, holding my head with the wig, like, literally resting on top. Like, I'm just leaning, rocking back and forth. Like, I'm traumatized. Yeah? I'm traumatized. I'm traumatized. I'm traumatized. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. And he's like, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm like, no, 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 turn around, don't look at me, don't look at me. I'm like, that's it, like, I'm going home, I'm going home, I have to leave. And then he's just like, no, it's fine, give me a hug. But this time I had like, pull my, my wig was like here, like, I just put my wig on like this and I just literally just slid it here. I didn't care where it was. And I just <laughs> put my head, my hood on, on top and pull the strings down, boom. You know how boys like man them be coming out with the strings tight around their face? You can just see like this much of my face. I didn't even give a D, like, really, truly, all I wanted to do was laugh, but I couldn't believe that my wig had like been snatched by this guy. So he's like, oh, come here, it's fine, come down, and no, get away from me. Go, I'm going home right now, I'm going. He's like, no, it's fine, it's, I didn't even see, like, what are you talking about? Your wig didn't come off, I did. I, I don't have, I don't have Beverly too. I have set it off. Let's Queen Latifah braids, like, I looked like a, I like, I was stripped of my identity. I was so vulnerable, I didn't know who the hell I was. I was weak, like, bro, when someone, like, the way it came clean off as if someone had removed all of my clothes, boom, in one go. Right then, I was naked, I don't care what anybody said, I was naked in that room, I didn't know how I got naked, my God. He's like, oh, come here, it's fine. So I said, no, I have to leave, I have to leave. I'm like, don't touch me, get away from me. I'm going home. He's like, look, looking at me like, are you mad? Like, because he hadn't even seen me think. I said, no, I have to go. Yeah, so he just so literally, like, mad, it yeah. all happened within five minutes. <laughs> the wig was off, the wig was on this far. I ran out the house and I was cruising for time. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, but wig was pulled off, clean. The By clean. someone you were seeing. I'm even lucky. Someone you were seeing. Could that, like, I'm just trying to think of what I would have done. I told you, I would die. <laughs> <laughs> that, that event took years of my life. I would die early because of that wig. <laughs> you can't be the same person again. You think a guy can get near my head again? Don't even play games with me. Don't fight. You want to you be driving to fight again? You win. You win. I'm weak. What? You want to fight me? So my wig can end up on the floor. Because guys are wicked nowadays. Before I could end up on Twitter yeah. with him holding my wig and then you see me on the floor with the ball. Like, what, what yeah. would have happened then? Now people actually know who I am. This can never happen again. Yeah, it will never happen again. This is a tragic event. It will never happen Tragic. Again. You know, don't be like these girls. <laughs> Speaking of wigs and stuff, guys, we are actually he hearing your questions about hair. So we are going to address it by going on Periscope because this isn't really, you know, a hair and beauty channel. That's not really what we try and do. Um, if you have any questions that you want answered, just write in the comments. And we're gonna let you guys know a date and we're gonna put it in the description box also. Yeah, yeah, so just keep watching on Twitter 
and then we'll let you know so twitter snapchat 